Hi guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about how I finally have got my period back after four and a bit years of suffering with anorexia and developed, become strong enough and now it's shown by getting my period back, which I got back last week, which I'm very happy about. But there's also a lot of emotions to go with that so i just wanted to take time and explain it to you all because i knew being in recovery i always was i was looking up ways to get my period back it's such a big part of recovery and your life not having periods not being able to please god have children when you're older not being able to just your body it's a sign that your body isn't working properly and getting a period is a sign that your body is fixing and healing itself which is exactly what i am aiming to do and is a massive step into my recovery so as i said i have i lost my period over five years four years ago and since then it's been a journey for a lot of that time i was not bothered that i didn't have my period it was annoying but anorexia was so much bigger than my period and meant so much more to me than having a period and changing my life around and knowing that being anorexic having my eating disorder caused me nothing but negativity and actually the fact that my head was telling me things like you need to stay like this and you're scared of things was only pushing me only making me close to anorexia and pushing me away from everything else i wanted and wanted to grow with life and when i finally saw the light and realized that yes it's enough now it's time for me to up my game to enjoy life to get the most out of it i'm here for so short for such a short amount of time i need to get the most out of it my life has changed dramatically i think of food completely differently and that doesn't mean that i'm fully recovered in any way but the way i think of food i think of my body i think of my life is just so different and because of that, I think it's brought back my period by seeing life in such a positive way and seeing anorexia as such a negative force pushing against me. And that's something I just don't need in my life. Um, how I got my period back was really by eating and staying positive and remembering this is life. We're playing a game and the game is not to win it's not to lose it's just to play and just to have fun because it's too short and before we know it will be over four years of my life were wasted with anorexia and i can't get that back but i can change the future and i can change and by changing my ways by changing my mindset my whole life has changed i've gained so much whilst gaining weight even gaining weight has given me advantages like being able to go out with friends and not thinking about it being able to just turn up somewhere no matter the time and not not think about oh i haven't had my meal yet or i'm gonna have my meal later it's too early too late none of that matters because we're just living your life and doing what's best for you and your head can tell you one thing, but you know deep down what's right and what's wrong. You just need to believe that you want the best for you. So how I began eating a lot again is by just dropping the rules. I find it, I find it, I find it very hard, very hard, but one by one dropping the rules or even two by two, three by three, I can't, there should be no rules with food. Your emotions and food should not be together. It's completely different. Food cannot make us feel guilty, sad, angry. Any of those negative emotions connected with food is just putting a strength on your body, on your brain, on your life. And it really doesn't need to be. You, we've drummed this into ourselves and although it's not a choice it's a choice to get it out and to rewire our brains and to think differently about everything and that's what i've done every time there's an opportunity to eat i try and go for it if 
that if I'm pushing out, if there's a choice to go, a chance to go outside my comfort zone, I really push and try and do that. I stick to my meals, I stick to my snacks. It doesn't matter what I've eaten today, it doesn't matter what I've eaten yesterday, the day before, tomorrow, what I'm doing, what I'm wearing, who I'm seeing. I need to eat and I need to remind myself and I remind myself that every day. And it really does change thinking that it's just something I need to do and that everyone needs to do. And I'm not alone in this, but because my head tells me, oh, not, people aren't eating that amount, people aren't eating this amount, you're eating more. I just need to remember that I need to eat and however much I need to eat, it's a need and I enjoy it as well and I just need to remember that and think of the memories I'm creating, the life I'm making and I'm just having fun and just living my best life. Now when I got my period the other day for the first time I did think to myself oh my gosh um oh my gosh like this really shows that I am doing that my body is changing which is really scary for me having an eating disorder I just thinking I didn't I know my weight's going up but I didn't realize how dramatically it was and oh my gosh every oh, like this whole four years has been for a waste has been a waste that's what my head's been telling me and it's really strong feeling like that and knowing that some things are getting back to normal and that do I and there's kind of like this small push thinking I want to go back to where I was looking at pictures with me and the reality is that I do feel that but I also feel on the other side that my life then was sad it wasn't nice and although I had a small body I had a very small life and my life now is so much bigger so much more joy so much more so much more energy, more yummy foods, more activities that I can do. I can go and do whatever I want without thinking about such a stress, which is what I'm gonna have for my snack or what am I gonna have for my meal or what time and who with, and I need to be home for this and I need to do that. And it's just a weight off my shoulder. So I need to remember that. And when I do get my period, be proud of myself of how far I've come rather than being embarrassed and being scared of scared of the changes that are being made because in actual fact they're all just good changes and anyone would wish for a period. I also like to remember that I've done this by myself and not a lot of people and not a lot of not a lot of times in your life can you say I've done this by myself and when you reach something in life like maybe getting a job or maybe getting promoted getting certain grades or whatever it may be I feel like I've really done this by myself and that and obviously I've had amazing help from professionals and my my friends are amazing my family but the fact that I've actually had to take this opportunity and actually push myself so much I had the professionals I had my friends I had my family throughout the whole three and a half years that I didn't want to be that I didn't want to be in recovery and now that I've really challenged my brain and, and worked on myself I really can see the rainbow coming and it just is so lovely and so warming to my heart to know that I think the main point in getting your period back is just to relax. Relax your body, relax your mind, relax your life and just realise that life's too short not to eat what you want, not to do what you want and not to be who you are. Just be yourself and everything will return back to normal. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to DM me on Instagram, Lives Living, or comment on this or whatever it is. You can text me, whatever, um, I'd be happy to help. And I hope you enjoyed this video and it gave you a bit of an insight into how I got my period back. And yeah, I'm proud of myself. Love you all.